Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's James. Today I'm gonna to tell you and show you how to cut every size of PVC pipe plastic pipe that's out there using just one or two tools. I'm very, very pleased to be introducing you today to the Ox PolyZip Flex C1 and C2. Anyway, let's get on with the video and learn how to cut PVC plastic pipe. Let's get on with the video, guys. Hold tight. Before we get started with this video, I'd like to ask you to click the subscribe button and the notification bell. It's really important and helps the channel grow. Anyway, let's get on with the video. Get me glovey wubs on, all right? Need to be safe, don't I? Need to be safe. Right, so firstly, we used to cut plastic pipe back in the day with a hacksaw. So I'll get me old hacksaw out. We get it like this, and you would get your pipe, bung it wherever you want to cut it. and cut it like that. Now, the problem with that is number one, we get lots of swarf on the ends of the pipe. The pipe becomes burred. Sometimes it's very hard to cut together. Sometimes the cuts are slanted. They're not straight, they're not square with the pipe. Also, it just is really wasteful. You end up with shavings all over the place. You make your work area dirty. So that was how we used to do it. We then got round to using proper snips, actually. They're almost like a set of scissors. The disadvantage with those is that you've got a very large blade that you can cut yourself on really, really easily. Again, it's quite difficult to get that cut nice and square as well. And also they take up quite a bit of room in your tool bag. So Ox came up with the PolyZip Flex that brings together the fixed type pipe slice technology that we've used for copper pipe. And also there's been a fixed version for plastic pipe that Ox also make and brought that together not only into a product that cuts the pipe cleanly, cuts it square and straight, but also has the ability to spread and be versatile over the pipe. So let's meet the PolyZip Flex C1. So here is the PolyZip Flex C1. What an absolutely lovely beast it is. It cuts 15 to 28 millimeter. It has on the back of it a very small protector for the blade that you can take out and then pop in reverse. I'll give you about three seconds to lose it because I'll probably lose that. And the technology behind it that I absolutely love that means that this can do 15 to 28 mil all in one pipe size means that it can spread. Look, it spreads like that and it automatically closes to the right size of pipe that you're trying to cut and then cuts it. Inside, we've got a slanted, very, very sharp blade that is kept away at all times from your hands unless you stick your finger in it, which would be pretty stupid. And also, we've got direction arrows on there so we know which way to turn it. It's a foolproof, easy tool to use. So let me demonstrate now how you'd use it. I'm just gonna do it on top of this vise here, just so it's got an area that I know that the camera's looking at for a start. So look, inside, if I just split this apart, there's our blade just sat inside there like so. And that means that we've got here, this is a bit 15 mil poly pipe. There are the arrows on there like that. So if I was gonna cut this bit of poly pipe, I could just pop this on here like so. And this clamps round it straight away, making sure that our cut is nice and square. I can just twist that a few times. Twist, twist, twist. Oh, it's already cut it. Literally, that's how quick this thing can cut it. And look as well, just how clean the cut is on there. Absolutely lovely. So what about the C1 on a little bit of 22 mil poly pipe? Pop that on there like so, just like that, yeah. And I'm just gonna twist, that we'll just, I wanna show, show you, look at that cutting in there, can you see that? How quick that cuts in, that's already off. How about that? We've got some electrical conduit here as well. So look, I'll just pop that in there, press that down like so, we're right into that pipe now. Wow, look at that. So look, we've cut three different sizes of pipe already just with this one product, the C1. How about a different type of plastic? So we've got some 25 millimeter water main here. We're gonna go the other way now. I'm gonna cut this way. So I'm just gonna roll my hands the other way like so. Look at that, guys. So up to 28 mil poly pipe. So look, we can just go around. Just begin our cut. So guys, there's the C1. We've got a tool that will cut 15, 20, 22, 25, 28 mil, and all the other millimeters in between. What an absolute beast this product is. When it comes to accurately using one of these to cut on a mark that you've made on the pipe, we've got this little arrow here that denotes the center point exactly where our blade is. So for instance, if we were going to cut a little bit of UK water main like this, 
and we said we wanted to cut that back a certain distance, I'd make a mark with my pen there, like so, and then I would pop my C1 so it matched that mark on the pencil, and then I would turn, and there we go, a nice, lovely, clean cut. Let's meet the C2, have a look at some of the sizes of pipe that that beast can cut, because as you imagine, it's bigger and does from 25 to 55 millimeter. And then after that, we're gonna take these two apart, because inside these is some lovely little bit of design, lovely bit of innovation that Ox have done as a team that you are gonna love, because it means they've thought about you, the end user. And me, a plumber, a long-suffering plumber. So here is the C2, what an absolute beast. As you can see, very, very similar concept, very similar design. We've got our blade inside, our blade protector, but this time, it's miles, miles bigger. I mean, it's not so big, it's not, I mean, look, this is the size compared to the C1. So it's basically the size of a large sort of 22 mil copper pipe slice. 25 millimeter to 55 millimeter. Let's test it. So let's just start off on a little bit of standard PVC. Just gonna pop it around there. Look, it really closes down nicely on that. Boom, straight away. Hell yeah. Let's try something a little bit up. We've got some 36 millimeter waste pvc from hunter quite thick walled look at that cutting nicely look at that done tiny little bit of a bit on there but absolutely brilliant easy oh yeah we've got a little bit of 41 mil the thing is you know what it's like guys pvc pipe sizes <laughs> what a nightmare if you're a novice to plumbing you look at them and go well that looks like inch and a half but no, it's push fit. <laughs> this thing, doesn't matter what size you, a pipe you're working with, this beast can cut it. Look at that, it's just popped out. Look at that, let's just do another one. Wow, look. So easy. Let's do a bit of electrical conduit, the flexible type. Can that cut that okay? So it's good for sparkies as well. Not that sparkies have ever cut anything straight in their lives. But there we go. We've got some 55 mil. This is its actual maximum pipe size here that it can do. Boom, snaps on like that. Look, look at that, how that's sort of snapped on there. What a beast. So look, and then you just start twisting, twisting. It's gonna take a little bit longer. It's a bigger diameter pipe. But what I wanna know is how clean the cut is. Hell yeah, baby. Look at that. Wow, we've done so many sizes of pipe all in one. What else we got here? We've got a little bit of Screwfix flow pass 55 mil as well. Snap her on, let's have a little go. Boom straight away this is a brilliant brilliant tool so happy to have this in my tool bag right so you've met the c1 you've met the c2 you know that these two products can cut everything from 15 millimeter all the way up to 55 mil and if i was a bit of a nutter i think you could push it even further than that but don't say i told you so let's have a look inside one of these because there's a little hidden gem that i think you're gonna love let's check it out so then say you've your blade somehow accidentally cut a bit of metal pipe with it and you've blunted the blade off. As you can see, we've got the C2 here, 25 to 55 mil. Arrows on there that we had a look at earlier. But look, down here, there's a little screw hole. Oh, baby, what's in here? Let's have a little look. I think you guys are gonna absolutely love this. It's such a lovely bit of a design. And look at this. I just want, really want you guys to get a good look at this because it is so cool. We take this off. There you can see we've got our blade. But look, what's this little brown envelope here? Well, firstly, the blade can just pop off like so. Pop that off out of the way. And then in here, what have we got? A little packet with a spare blade in it. So you can just take that out. There's a little blade in there. You probably have to take your gloves off because it's quite a sort of tight job to do. Just pop your blade in there like so, sit that down like that, and then get your cover like so. Pop it on there like that, and we're all ready to cut again. 
So guys, I hope you've enjoyed today's Plumber Parts video. I mean, what a great product. I just love it when people think about things and it gets made and manufactured in the UK, which is just cool. You know, you don't really hear that happening very often now. Made in the UK, it solves a problem, but then they do those extra bits, putting those blades inside here. It's just amazing to see that they've done that. They thought about you guys, you can buy extra blades for these, but they're so well protected anyway. The chances of you ruining a blade are really gonna be the fact that you cut the wrong type of material by accident. I have actually got a few of these to give away. So if you're watching within a week of this video going out live, have a look at the date on YouTube, then all you need to do to enter this competition is like this video, subscribe with the bell to Plumber Parts, comment below as to why you think you should win it and one of the things you like about it because Ox really listen and read what you guys think about their products. They wanna make good products for you and I'll pick a winner for someone to win the C1 and the C2 together in our next Plumbing Disasters video. So thanks ever so much for watching guys. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I hope you've learned a little bit about how to cut plastic pipe, but also introduce you to a new tool that will make DIY plumbing, but also you as a qualified jobbing plumber, kitchen fitter, electrician even, or anyone who cuts PVC plastic pipe makes that job a little bit easier for them. Thanks ever so much for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video. Remember to hold tight. See you soon. Thanks for watching today's video guys. Remember you can check out all the plumbing disasters that you guys have sent into us every couple of weeks on this channel. We also have hundreds of plumbing videos to help you the DIYer out, you the architect out, or even you the plumber and installer when it comes to new products and things you're gonna be interested in.